Are you stuck trying to decide between Squarespace and WordPress for your website? If you're wanting to launch a professional website, you'll want to consider these three essential decisions. Where to host your site, where to purchase a domain, and which content management system or CMS you want to use. It's crucial to really think through these three questions since you'll be using the chosen CMS to manage your site every day. Two popular CMS options are Squarespace and WordPress. I'm Raid, and in today's video, we'll compare the two so you can find the best choice for your business. Let's get into it. Let's talk cost. Right off the bat, it's worth noting that WordPress can be used for free. Although it'd be tough to run a business website on the free version, there is still the option. Squarespace, on the other hand, does not offer any free plans. Squarespace has split its pricing into four tiers. Personal, business, basic commerce, and advanced commerce. These tiers range from $14 to $49 billed annually. With each new tier, you unlock new analytics capabilities, security functions, and the ability to sell products directly through your site. WordPress also has a paid tier system, but it depends on whether you choose WordPress.com or the WordPress.org. The .org site is open source CMS software, which is completely free. The cost comes into play when you purchase a theme, hosting service, and a domain. The .com site bundles all those costs for you in four different tiers, personal, premium, business, and e-commerce. These range from $4 to $45 billed annually. Overall, depending on the plan, Squarespace may end up being cheaper than the WordPress tier providing the same functionality. Now let's compare website design. Both options have pretty simple drag and drop interface tools. However, Squarespace is known for its intuitive and easy to use platform. This restaurant used the Squarespace interface to design this sleek website. WordPress seems to be a little less intuitive. It offers the WordPress block editor, which again, includes a drag and drop function for all the elements on your website. While they both can be considered to have simple website design tools, WordPress has a steeper learning curve than Squarespace. This makes Squarespace a winner if ease is a big deciding factor. Continuing on the topic of design, let's look into themes. Squarespace offers about 110 themes, which it calls templates. That may seem like a lot, but compared to WordPress.org's theme library of over 4,000 themes, not so much. Squarespace's templates are highly customizable. However, they're also developed with the latest and most secure technologies. On top of WordPress.org's impressive theme library, you could also utilize Theme Forest. This WordPress theme library holds roughly 50,000 additional themes to choose from. Our theme winner is WordPress. You'll have many more options than Squarespace. If you want your website to really work for you, then you'll want to take advantage of plugins and extensions. Squarespace has more than 29 extensions up for grabs. These extensions make shipping, finance, inventory, and sales and marketing functionality possible through your site. WordPress offers a whopping 59,000 free plugins in its library. On top of that, you can use third-party plugins in other marketplaces that work with WordPress. Again, because of the sheer number, we have to give the plugins and extensions category to WordPress. Their library provides more options for site owners than Squarespace does. When it comes to embedding forms on your site, both WordPress and Squarespace step up to the plate. Both sites allow you to embed a form through tools like JotForm. When using Squarespace, you can integrate a JotForm form by adding a JotForm embed code. With WordPress, you can add JotForm forms with the JotForm WordPress plugin. Similar to Squarespace, you can also manually insert an embed code onto a web page. While both sites allow the form embed option, 
WordPress takes the cake since you can use a plugin or an embed code. With Squarespace, you're a tad more restricted. Last, let's talk security. As mentioned before, WordPress has more themes and plugins to choose from. However, since Squarespace has fewer themes and plugins, it assumes the responsibility of ensuring they're all updated and secure. With WordPress, you're on your own. The responsibility falls on the site owners themselves. In some cases, WordPress themes and plugins can contain malicious code that can compromise your security. So for that reason alone, we have to give it up to Squarespace. Sure, a WordPress site could be just as secure as a Squarespace site, but the onus is on you. So which do you choose? For a more conventional website, such as portfolios, blogs, or small businesses, Squarespace is a great choice. If you require custom website solutions of any kind, go with WordPress. Both Squarespace and WordPress are great options for hosting a website. When you boil it all down, Choosing your CMS should be based on which one matches your prioritized requirements. Let's review. Here are some key factors to keep in mind when choosing between Squarespace and WordPress. There's cost, website design capabilities, theme choices, plugins and extensions, form embed features, and security. Until next time, I'm Raid with Jotform, and don't forget to click subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.